We go to LFR.com for our show today on LNK TV. I'm Dale Johnson, your host. Thanks a lot for being here with us. Uh, Lincoln Fire and Rescue Captain Nancy Christ joins me for our conversation today. Uh, and we focus on uh, a weekly fire education program that you can find at LFR.com. Nancy and I are putting way more than six feet of distance between us, as you can tell, Nancy. How are you today, Nancy? I'm good. How are you? Good. This distancing is not a problem for us. You do it a lot more on a daily basis than I do, this Zooming. But what COVID did put a crimp in is the fire education aspect, creating a distance between the, the, the people that you serve, the customers of Lincoln Fire and Rescue, and those uh, at the, uh, the education side of LFR. So let's talk about that. That gap has been filled by the fire escape on the website. Right. You know, we really, you know, part of our mission is that community risk reduction. And part of that community risk reduction is our ability to reach out to the citizens and reach out with uh, fire education, um, you know, we do a lot of inspections and pre-plans. And so it's really just couldn't kind of put a damper on that ability to continue to educate. So we kind of started doing a little um, brainstorming and we came up with an idea to put fire education right on our website and on social media. So we came up with what we call the fire escape and it's a weekly education platform that um, we've put up a new lesson uh, every week now for, I, I believe we're in week six or seven, I'm not sure, um, one of those. So, um, and it's a combination of my amateur video production, which is, uh, leaves little to be desired, but, uh, you know, the whole idea was to give folks an opportunity to continue to see our firefighters, um, see their firefighters in action and, and see what they're doing. And, um, you know, we've done a couple of rig demos. We've done a fire escape plan. We've done some color pages, um, a lot of different uh, types of education pieces. We've got one coming up on um, fire extinguishers. So we're just trying to continue to reach out as best we can during this really, really unique time. Because it, would this not be for a COVID time, you and I would be sitting in a studio closer than six feet and we'd be looking at each other. And that's what your firefighters are so used to doing in, in the schools, in the recreation centers, in the assisted living centers, going in and meeting people, educating them on creating a fire escape plan for families, for example, having that information go home with the kids at rec centers, talk to people about exits and uh, safe uh, fire training, those sorts of one-on-one -on -one type skills. Yeah. You know, our, our people are kind of driven by that contact. I mean, that's, that's why we do what we do. Um, and so to, to have that taken away has really been uh, kind of a struggle. And, you know, we have people stop by the stations all the time um, mm -hmm. on a normal basis uh, just to say hi. And, you know, of course, our folks bring them right in and, and show them around the, the fire rigs and uh, the ambulance. And so, yeah, it's, it's really been strange. And, and it's not any different than than what our citizens, what the people of Lincoln have been doing for the last eight weeks. I mean, everybody has been so diligent and so good about following the mayor's directives of just stay home right now, you know, just stay home, hang in there, we can do this together. So that's what we're doing as, as firefighters. We're staying home, we're staying in our stations uh, during that time, unless we're, you know, in the commission of our duties um, and just trying to, to really, you know, follow those same directives. So this just gives us an outlet. So here's where you go. Um, you'll see the fire escape and there, let's, let's go into there and find out some of the subjects. Uh, you and I have talked about uh, a virtual rig demonstration. This is engine six with uh, a good looking fire captain there. Uh, your husband, Alan is, uh, and is that you behind the camera? 
Nancy? It is. Okay, it, it, nice job. Good. Very amateur stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, and what it does is it just takes you from, from the front of the rig to the middle of the rig to the back of the rig, and you learn the parts of the rig itself, why things are where they are, and the functions that this apparatus can provide at the scene of a fire. Yep, exactly. Uh, you know, and the whole idea was, um, you know, to, to provide education. Uh, you know, I really, this is an up close and personal opportunity to really see what's inside all of those, behind all those doors. Um, and then at the very end of that particular video, um, I have two paramedics going head to head, getting their gear on um, to see who can, who can do it the fastest. As you know, that is actually part of our job. It's part of uh, the criteria that we have to, to meet is the ability to get our gear on in a certain amount of time. So uh, it was fun to just close that video with those two having a little competition. See, Nancy, I take it all too much for granted, and I shouldn't, because over the years, you and others in LFR have, have privileged me by being able to go inside these fire stations and go into rigs and ride-alongs, too, uh, go into the places that generally the public does not get a chance to see. And so I, I somewhat forget that people haven't seen firefighters put their uh, clothes on and their rigs on and, and uh, the behind-the-scenes pulling out of a fire station and en route. And uh, this gives them a little bit of a peek behind the curtain here on this particular demonstration. Uh, other uh, educational features on uh, the fire escape, I believe uh, uh, a proper way to escape your house. You should have, you should have a plan, a fire plan, escape. Yeah. Uh, two ways out, you know, uh, that was one of the earlier ones that we, that we put up and it was, it's an escape plan. And it gave a, a little diagram, um, some graph paper, uh, and then people could actually, you know, kind of write out their floor plan. And then just, if nothing else, just have a conversation about what that looks like. Okay, um, if a fire occurs in the hallway, can you safely get out of your bedroom? What does that look like? What do I do? How do I do that? Um, you know, so I, it, for, to me, it's golden because it just creates that conversation. And that's, that's really what we want. We just want people to just talk about it, um, you know, and, and then practice. It can be fun. You know, it can be something that everybody practices um, as a family. Uh, then this last week, we uh, did a rig demo of the fire truck. The new location of truck 12 at station 12. So about, oh, I want to say two weeks ago, um, truck 12 moved from station seven to 12s. So it, it wasn't an addition of a truck. It was just a, a renaming and a relocation of a truck. Um, so we did, did some data, you know, um, math and science, you know, that's what, what really we, we try to be driven by. And, um, you know, creating some social distancing also. And so we were able to relocate that truck to engine or to the to station 12. So uh, that's been fun. It's been fun for those guys. So this week is the demo of truck 12. And it kind of goes into, you know, putting the aerial up and we have a firefighter climb the aerial and, and whatnot. So um, that one too. Uh, Again, it's it's amateur video day. Um, I, I you know I depend so much on our friends at LNK uh, TV uh, to really help me out. I've sent videos over there and said, "Oh, can you fix this?" You know, and they've been gracious to to help me out during this time. So so that's a fun video too. Um, Captain Scott Pearson uh, goes through the truck from stem to stern. Nancy, have you been on an aerial? I'm guessing you have. I That's have. scary. That's scary. I, I, I've been on an aerial once and for firefighters who do that as part of their training and as part of what they would do if they had to apply that skill at the scene, that, that, that's, that's a may I will never do it again. It's scary to look down and have nothing underneath you, right. but air. Well, and 
Uh, my particular position uh, has never really uh, forced me to do that on a daily basis because I've always been on an engine company. Um, and that's that's truck work. And it's a very specialized, very detailed. And you see in this video how many different jobs and skill sets those those guys have. But yeah, I'm not sure that that's um, the, the spot for me on the tip of that uh, aerial either, to be really honest. Um, 105 feet in the air is what uh, truck, truck 12 will extend. So that's up there. That's a climb too. <laughs> Kudos men and women who climb that aerial. That's, that's amazing. Also, from, I believe, weeks past, you introduced people to Maddie on fire escape she's an lfr engine um or an explorer yep. an lfr explorer and talk about that program so the fire explorer program is for kiddos they have to be 14 and it goes up to age 21 and it's just kind of an i don't want to say internship it's more a job shadow for kids that think you know the fire service might be something that i want to do so they just they get the opportunity to to go do skills. They'll have they'll have training days where they go out on the at the training center and go out on fire ground and, and spray water and put fires out and uh, work with uh, extinguishers and climb aerials and uh, tools, extrication tools and ladders. So it really is a key uh, piece for us because you know we're we're recruiting. You know, we're, that gives us an opportunity to kind of look at, at these, these people uh, that, are, that are eventually going to be in the job source, uh, job um, market, and, and might be somebody that we want to hire. So it's, it's a great program. Uh, it's, it's run by uh, Captain Kyle McCowan, and he's very passionate about the program and does an excellent job with those kids. So yeah, Maddie. Maddie did a little uh, gear demonstration for us and some safety tips and uh, did a great job. And you have fun too. Weeks past, there were uh, some coloring pages on there for kids to moms and dads to be able to print out for the kids. So check it out. LFR, it's the fire escape on the website. Don't want to run out of time, Nancy, before we, before we have a chance to talk about station 16, uh, May 27th, the big day for station 16. Yep. So, um, you know, as you know, Dale, uh, three years ago, the citizens voted to um, increase the sales tax by one quarter cent. And that was to uh, afford us the ability to build new fire stations and update the 911 communications um, system. And so finally, uh, as promised, uh, we're going to open Station 16 with Engine 16. So it's not only a, a new physical building, but it's an addition of another engine company here in Lincoln. And uh, that's, that's exciting. That's awesome because what that means to the citizens of Lincoln is that uh, that wait time and that response time is just that much better for everyone. So people aren't, you know, going clear out of their districts to cover those folks um, now uh, being covered by by Station 16 in Northwest, Northeast Lincoln. It has been a monumental period of time. I spoke to a, a former fire official about this. This three year period between engines and trucks and stations and recruiting efforts and the growth of LFR rightfully so, because Lincoln is growing, has just been remarkable and may and has in, is unprecedented to this point. And with Station 16 getting Engine 16, it, it puts an exclamation point on the past three years in the expansion of LFR, in my opinion. Yeah. And, you know, the truth is we can't stop. You know, we've got to continue that momentum. We've got, you know, we've got better plans in place now for replacing apparatus. And we're, we're already looking at, at property and land for, you know, for 17s and, and 18s is, is right on the horizon. So, you know, while we're in a good spot now, uh, we, can't, we can't sit back and wait. Um, we've got to continue to move forward. And now we just have a better template, a better plan to do that. Uh, and to put this in perspective, if you want to go back to LNK, some, some past conversations, 
uh, the, the past previous months or so, Kendall Warnock uh, from LFR and I sat down on sat down on Zoom this way, and we talked about the past, the present, and the future a little bit, and how LFR's apparatus status was in such such dire shape and how it has come through now to have A's and B's, whereas before there were a lot of D's and F's as far as the quality of the apparatus. So you're right. It, it's in a great spot right now and your vision is to the future and uh, citizens will benefit from that. That's right. That's right. Nancy, thank you very much for, uh, for uh, joining me today and talking about Lincoln Fire Escape. It's on LFR.com. And stay safe. We'll talk again. Thank you, Dale. You stay safe as well. Thanks, everybody, for joining us on LNK TV. Be safe.